anglers, sportsmen, they've been fishing for fish for a long time. They've come up with, you know, a notion of what is considered a sport fish. I'm like a 50% cast net thrower. Thank God there's a lot of it in Venice because that's the only way I catch bait. I'm starting to realize that maybe some of our trash fish are actually potentially great game fish. Come on, baby. I didn't see any... Uh, swirls? Swirls, but... I'm marking them on the bottom. You are? Yeah. There are a lot of places that we as anglers go fishing due to weather or some other circumstances our plan A doesn't work out and we have to go to plan B. In Louisiana, typically when you can't go offshore fishing, the plan B turns into redfish. And on this trip, I just didn't want to play in that sandbox anymore. How many mullet would you like to catch? Well, I don't know, Mo. Haven't really done much gar fishing before. Let's see. Between the two buffalo carp things we have, the little mullet, big mullet. What do you think they're gonna eat the best? You know what, plan B, I decided was gonna be something a little bit different. Mo, I really like the idea of this. I mean, I've, I think I've caught almost everything there is to catch, including catfish here in Venice with you and sometimes with Eric. There's two but, things left. All right, gar and jacks. Giant Jack Creval. We're gonna call them Cajun GTs. Cajun GTs. Yeah. <laughs> I've fished for a few other species that, well, they breathe air as well. You know, the Arapaima is an air breather. Tarpon are air breathers. And now, the alligator gar. The alligator gar, we always see in the ponds where we're red fishing, and they're huge. Huge. You we, know, saw, we saw a six footer yesterday. Yeah. Just these 100 pound guard is floating by and you know if you put a bait in front of them they're typically aggressive and coming after it but we're not always set up to target them because they got bony mouths and stuff but now we got the gear so let's see what we can do if we get Mo's idea is to go to a deep channel at the outlet of three or four of these ponds that she's seen the alligator gar in in the past. So this is it? This is it. This is the super secret gar spot. Super secret. Well, I see there's mullet in here. Yeah. But we're not sight fishing in here because this is, this this is, is a channel. It's a little deep, deeper. Yeah, this is going to be like 10 foot. We're going to uh, put down on the side and then fish the channel. Fish gar the channel. also process oxygen from air. Matter of fact, they take more than half of their oxygen from air. So they have to roll. They're going to show themselves. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, hey! Oh, that looks like a big car. <laughs> Without a doubt, the wire leader is going to be really important because of all the teeth. Their mouth is hard, really hard. And a treble hook is probably going to be necessary and help increase our odds. How big do you think some of these are? What I've seen while we're red fishing, I would say anywhere from 60 to over 100. I'm going to put a little heavier one on this, too. I'm going to cut this mullet up, Mo. What are you thinking, like half or? Let's uh, get uh, maybe each, yeah. Half or in thirds? Let's go thirds. That's a bigger one. Both of us have quite a bit of knowledge and fishing experience. So as we sit here and think about what we need to do to tackle this new objective of ours, and between the two of us, we come up with a pretty good plan. All right, first bait in the water. Here we go. How well can I back spool a torium? Oh, I thought you were gonna throw it down to those fish that we saw. So I feel the current's going this way. My bait should go that way. Okay. Oh my. Right there. He's playing with it. Is that, that might be your fish. Yes, ma'am. If we get a bite and when we get a bite, tell me about the process. How do we hook them? What do I mean, do? listen, the only thing that I know for sure is it takes them a long time. So I'm just going to leave it with the clicker so that 
We know when he picks this bait up, it's gonna be trial and error. There are a lot of reasons why Mo is a great fishing partner, but probably the most important is that she's willing to try something new. It just got hit again. I see that, but that's gotta be, that's gotta be a catfish, but it's not picking it up. Yeah, that's, saw that? that's a gar right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're getting bit too, Mo. That was definitely a good bite right here. He dropped it. She's constantly learning and trying to better everything about her fishing. You want a live mullet? Okay, do a little, like maybe a little finger mullet or something. Yep. One thing that I'm realizing is that this gar, I think is pretty sensitive. Taking it pretty good, huh? Let me get this out the way. Yeah, you're going straight out. All right, now, Carter, first fish is on your hands. I'm going to guess that. Oh, there he is. I think that's oh, your fish. Oh, please don't. Did he just drop it? I don't know. He felt it, and he dropped it. No way. It's very attuned to its environment. If it felt any pressure at all from the bait, it would drop it. He's rolling again. All right, I would, I would set up on him at some point. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Set. Got him, I think. Come on, Mo. Do we, do we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah baby, Mo. you're hooked up. Nice job, Mo. Oh, man. Oh, no, he just pulled. Huh? He didn't need it all the way, he just pulled. No way. Yeah. No way. He, Look how bent that oh, hook is. Oh, he pinched the hook. You see that? Yeah. I'm realizing that, that these alligator gar can be found in a lot of different environments. Definitely when we found the cleaner water, instead of the bite being primarily a scent-based bite, the cleaner water gave us the opportunity to have a fish that is visually looking for your bait. See that? You got a fish. Well, now we need to figure out how long he's been on there eating. Well, since you picked it up from up there, I mean... Yeah, I have a fish. Uh-huh, you do, don't you? Yeah, now he's taking it. Because that was way up there. It was way up there. Now he's going that way. Uh, guess what? What? I just got bit, too. You just got bit? Are we about to double up? We're about to get into each other. I know that much. Oh, he didn't like me stopping in it. I'd go ahead and set the hook You on. think? Yeah. Okay. Lock it up and Three, set it hard. Two. Oh my gosh, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. What about you? Oh yeah, I definitely feel a head shake. Definitely feel right, a head shake. I'm gonna shake. go clear those other lines. I'm underneath this one yellow one. Nice job. Well, he's not to the boat yet. Nice job. All right. Oh, we got a big one! Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Mo, it's a big one. <laughs> it's kind of scary, this muddy water. You don't see them till they break That's surface. That's a big one. Oh, he's coming up. Think he'll jump? Holy moly. Wow. Carter, we got a gar. It's a big one, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> Why are you jumping back, big boy? <laughs> Why am I jumping back? Because I saw those teeth. I've never done this before. You think they're going to be calm when they come? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you stepping back? <laughs> Why am I stepping back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he jumped clean through that. Did you see that? That's like a circus act. I wonder if I can come up through his tail all the way to his shoulders. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try. <sighs> okay, nice and soft. Carter, we got our first freaking car. <sighs> and it's a good one, Mo. Look at this thing. Are you kidding? I mean, we're talking about prehistoric. I mean, I'm guessing that thing's, that's a good 50 pounder right there. Huh? Look at that. This is all, I was reading about this. These aren't just scales, they interlock. You cannot pick one of these scales out. Uh-huh. Indians actually used to use these. They're so hard and so tough. Yeah. They would use these as bird points on the end of their arrows. All these scales right yeah. here. You see how pointy they are? Yeah, 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 yeah. To think that they've been around 
for, like I said, millions of years and evolved into this creature. That's How cool amazing. is this fish? I'm glad Mo, we got one. I'm really glad that this is your idea to come show me something new. It's new to me too. Huh. Showing me something new. <laughs>